okay, what if you've been working on your own money mindset and you're really, really getting there, but you constantly feel derailed by other people in your life? It could be your partner, it could be your parents, it could be your best friend, your siblings, you know, your business partner, it could be even just random people in your life popping up to kind of derail your money mindset. It sucks, it happens, but don't worry, I've got some really great tips for you on how to overcome that and how to shield yourself from their negative energy around money. Okay, number one is you have to take responsibility for your own money mindset. So don't let somebody else's money crap become your crap. Don't let somebody else's beliefs around money infect how you feel about money. Now, it's no coincidence that these people are coming up in your life right now. As I always say, when you work on your money stuff, it's like starting a new skincare regime. Suddenly all that crap rises to the surface and temporarily things can sometimes look worse than they were before. And that always seems to happen when you're really being diligent about your own stuff and you're really watching your thoughts and then suddenly, you know, your husband goes, oh, well, we can't afford that. Or your mum says, you know, well, how do you think you can make money out of that? And it just deflates you straight away. So that first tip is to really know that only you can be responsible for your own money mindset and you can't blame it on other people. Number two is if it's really bad, I would tell them how you feel about it. So some people will be open to that and some people won't. I personally have had conversations with my husband at times when our money mindset wasn't quite the same. I was really working on it and his was kind of, you know, being a bit crap. And I just said to him, hey, dude, when you talk about money like that, it, it brings up my stuff. You know, I, I feel crap about money. It makes me feel scared about money. And I didn't blame him, but I just kind of went, hey, help me out here. I'm really trying to work on my money stuff at the moment. And when you say X or when you do Y, it actually makes me feel really scared about money. So have that conversation. Number three, upgrade the people around you. So this doesn't mean kicking your husband out. It doesn't mean not spending time with the people that you love. It just means you have to be also surrounded by people who have the money mindset that you aspire to have. That could mean crowding out some of that negativity, but it also means you'll have enough of it around you to kind of shield yourself from the occasional negative person. So this could be joining a mastermind. For example, my Lucky Bitch Money Bootcamp comes with a mastermind and all the women there are in the conversation about upgrading their life and releasing their money blocks. So that would be a perfect environment to be in if you wanted to be in that conversation. Or it could be just finding people who are, you know, richer than you, people who have a great money mindset already, people who love talking about money. Just bring some of those people in your life and it's not gonna affect you so much then when your husband or your mum or your friend says something negative about money. Step number four, hmm, this is a harsh one. Don't get your business and money validation from the wrong sources. I've talked about this a lot before and I really, really mean it, is, you know, if you're telling your husband or your mom stuff about your business because you want business validation from them, you might not always get the reaction that you're looking for because they don't know your business, maybe they don't know marketing, maybe they're just not in the same conversation as, as you are. So, you know, those groups that you're starting to upgrade yourself around with, they're the people you should be getting business validation from. People who are qualified, people who are in the same conversation. I know that sounds harsh, but don't get your, don't try and get your business validation from your husband. It doesn't always work. He's not your mastermind buddy, he's your husband. Okay, and then step number five, it's a really easy one, is read my money book. Um, here's a little sneaky plug for it. It's called Get Rich Lucky Bitch, and there's a link down below in the transcript about how you can get a couple of chapters free to see if it's for you because it really does talk about how you can release your money blocks and start to live um, a more first-class life where things like that just don't worry you it doesn't bother you that other people in your life might not have the same money mindset because you'll be working on it and it will feel great so make sure you get your free chapter from there and here's a little sneaky tip as well when you actually purchase the book you can get it from Amazon or other places 
you get um, a sample of a subliminal money mantra audio that I put together. And some people have reported that they play it around the house and their husband or their partner suddenly starts to change their mindset around money. It's the weirdest thing. But, you know, sometimes if you can't talk to them about it directly, you can put the message in subliminally. <laughs> so I would love to hear from you. Um, do you have some tips? Did you change your partner's mindset around money? Are you struggling? Is there some things that you'd like some advice on? Just write them down in the comments. And, you know, the community here is just such a wonderful one and we can try and find some ways to help you as well. And then come over to luckybitch.com if you're not here already because there's lots more resources about how you can increase your money mindset and release those money blocks. Have a beautiful, abundant day. Bye. Hey again, it's Denise here from Lucky Bitch and this is Little Miss Willow Grace. Hi. <laughs> now Willow and I are absolutely passionate about women in business because it doesn't matter if you've got kids or not, but I really see that having a business is your fastest way to creating a life of freedom, adventure and abundance. Now, if you haven't already, I want you to come over and listen to a very important audio. It's probably the most important and powerful thing I've ever created for women. It's about the seven money blocks that are really holding you back from a life of freedom, adventure, and abundance. It's really easy to grab it. You just need to go to luckybitch.com slash blocks, and you'll be able to listen to it straight away. I talk about things like how to get over working for free or for people... <laughs> or not charging enough, or you know, if you're stuck in a place where you're bartering all the time and not receiving actual money. So come over and I would love to hear your feedback on it. On the page, there's a little place where you can add your comments and you can talk about what money blocks that you're working on at the moment and what you're doing to get over them. So here's to all of us living amazing, abundant lives. See you soon, bye. Bye.